Hispano Stadium, San Luis Obispo. Cal Poly hosting South Dakota State in the Mustangs home opener. Cal Poly strikes early in the first quarter, third and 21 at the 29. Andre Bratis fires to the end zone for Jared Houston. The Mustangs take an early 7-0 lead. South Dakota State answers later in the first quarter. Thomas O'Brien hits Zach Zenner on fourth down with a key block. Zenner zips past the Mustangs defense and takes it 36 yards to the paint. The Jackrabbits tie the game at seven. An Andre Broaddus touchdown run made it 14 to seven. In the second quarter, Broaddus finds Mark Rogers wide open over the middle. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood as Mr. Rogers races 69 yards to the pylon. Cal Poly extends its lead 21-7. Then the Mustang defense gets in on the action. O'Brien's pass gets tipped at the line of scrimmage by Matt Singletary. Bijan Samudi snatches the butterfly out of the sky and heads for the goal line. Samudi scores on the pick six to make it 27 to seven. End of the second quarter, Thomas O'Brien fires to Aaron Rollin, good for a first down at the Mustang 22. With mere seconds left on the clock, O'Brien sees an opening and makes a break for it but he bites the dust at the one yard line. The first half would expire before South Dakota State could get another playoff. Cal Poly led by 20 at the break. Third quarter now, Andre Bratis, always dangerous from the shotgun. Bratis connects with David Marr over the middle, 41 yards down to the Jackrabbit one yard line. Next play, as the Mustang offensive line explodes off the ball, Bratis dives to pay dirt. Cal Poly takes a 34-7 lead. South Dakota State would fight back. O'Brien pumps and fires down the sideline for Dale Moss. He hauls it in. The Jackrabbits move into Mustang territory. Later in the drive, SDSU third and goal from the six. Thomas O'Brien looks right and guns the ball to Jason Snyder into the end zone. The Jackrabbits still alive down 34-14. Later in the third, South Dakota State now back in scoring position. With a third and goal from the three, O'Brien looks for Brandon Gant all the way. But Asa Jackson jumps the route. And forget about it. Goal line to goal line. Coast to coast. Asa Jackson takes it the distance on the interception return touchdown. That made it 41-14 Mustangs. Jake Romanelli added another touchdown in the fourth quarter as Cal Poly tramples South Dakota State 48-14. The Mustangs chalk up their first win of the season. Everyone's feeling ecstatic and uh, we knew we had to get a win. Uh, first two games were tough opponents, but we knew we had to get a win, so hopefully it snowball effects and we can keep it going. We had two tough teams, um, first two games, and like we weren't happy with the losses, so we knew this was a must win. We got home, we got a lot of our guys first time home from last year, and so we just came out with a mentality that we wanted to win, and we wanted to win big, and then we and it happened. I thought Coach Cook did a great job game plan wise, and the coach has coached it well, but really, the players executed it. And when the players execute and do the things they're capable of, we're fairly explosive. Okay. 